In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a business directory website with WordPress, the one you see on the screen right now. As you see, I have a filter here, top categories, listings. If I open up one of the listings, then all the information is here. I can see them on the map. I can filter them by location or by categories, additional filters. I can purchase packages with the help of WooCommerce. I can also purchase packages. I can add listings. I can see vendors. I can send messages. I can add listings to the favorites. I can send messages and so on. One more thing, all this is for free. So if you're interested, then jump in. Now, in order to make it work, I'm going to start from scratch. This is my blank WordPress site. I'm going to go to the dashboard. Now I'm going to go to the appearance, teams, and I'm going to search for listing hive. This one here. Install it. Let's activate it. And now I'm going to go to the install plugins and I'm going to install a HivePress plugin, which is needed for creating directories. Now, when this is done, I'm going to go back and activate it, return to the dashboard. And as you see, there is, if you want to start with demo content, please follow this screencast to import it. Just click on the link. Next, download demo files, unpack them, and then you'll see three files. One for content, one for customizer, and one for widgets. Now I'm going to go to the plugins, add new, and search for one click demo import. This one here. I'm going to install it and activate it. Now I'm going to go to the appearance, import demo data, scroll down, select file for content. This one here. Next, I'm going to import widgets and customizer settings. I'm going to do it because after importing demo data, it's much easier for me to show you what is what, and it's much easier to demonstrate it. So let's continue import. It may take a minute or so, so I'm going to come back when it's done. It's done. So let's next let's visit site. And there you go. With a couple of clicks, all the information has been imported. Now, before I'm going to go to the settings, I'm going to show you something else. Back to the dashboard. There are three additional menus now. Hive press, listings, and vendors. First, let's take a look at the extensions because Hive press has a bunch of extensions. Some of those are free, some of those are premium plugins. And if you take a look at it, you'll see that there are bookings, marketplace, search alerts, memberships, requests, social login, and so on. Those are premium plugins, but there are also free plugins, that is claim listings, favorites, paid listings, messages, geolocations and reviews. If you want to install any of them, just press an install button and activate the plugin. Back to this extensions and repeat the process. Now I'm going to activate all the free extensions and then let's see what is what. Everything has been installed. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to point out that you can purchase all the extensions or every extension separately. If you purchase all extensions, then you'll get it 50% off. And you'll see that it's a lifetime license, which is really good. Now back to the high press and let's take a look at the settings. Fortunately, it's a simple to use plugin, so there is no settings overflow here. First, you set up the page, all the listings will be displayed. If you would like to display categories instead of listings, then choose this one here. Enable image zoom or allow uploading videos. Next, search default fields, keywords. I'm going to select also categories. I'm going to show you what happens. As you see, there is only keywords and location. If I refresh it, there is also categories, so I can filter it a bit more. Some other things you can configure here. If you have WooCommerce installed, then you can select the product that contains the featured package. For example, I'm going to open up the other site that I have here, which already has WooCommerce installed. So I have products, package one, package two with the prices. And here I can select the product that contains a WooCommerce package product you can purchase. Next, there is a claims settings. Once again, if you need to monetize it, then select the product for it. Save it. Reviews, whether to allow submit multiple reviews, manually approve new reviews, or allow replying to reviews. Now we have a vendor settings. Let's set up the vendor's page, display name, 
default fields for search once again next one for users whether it to allow user registration require email address verification would be wise to activate next one contains messages then geolocation and integration if you would like to use google maps on your site for example this one here then add a api key here you need to have a google maps api key i'm not going to talk in this video how to get it but if you need it then you can google it how to do that and basically that's it nothing else to configure here now some other things you can create your own email templates add the message here and select and if this email will be used you can create templates for your different content types for example listing categories listing profile and so on for example let's take a look at a single listing page at the moment it looks like this i'm gonna create a test template scroll down there are some high press blocks i can use for example listing search form listing and maybe packages just a quick overview i'm not gonna customize it you can do it by yourself and now if i refresh it then this is a single listing page if i want to delete it then just trash it and if i refresh it then you'll see that it's back again like it was before now let's take a look at the listings if i open it up you'll see there are categories regions claims packages and attributes listings are the one here and if i open up two of them one is for category it shops and second one is for real estate then you'll see that custom fields they have are different for it shops we have location price services type and availability and for real estate we have some other fields location rent type and square footage which means we can create custom fields for different categories it's easy to do i'm going to go to the categories add a category at the moment i have four of those here now i'm going to go to the attributes add new give it a title for example premium package whether i al allow to edit in front end yes i do field name it's going to be a slug here field type checkboxes description if needed maximum selection if needed next whether i would like it to be filtered indexed or sortable field type for search checkbox if needed i'm going to add it here and display and now i can choose block primary block secondary page primary page secondary i'm going to show you what is what so this one here is page primary and this one here is page secondary and for listings this one here is page primary and this area here is secondary so i'm going to choose block secondary and page secondary whether to add a icon and format you can see what is what here for example i'm going to add this one instead of value i'm going to display label next i'm going to display this field only for it shops publish and let's see listings this is for it shop and the field is here although it doesn't have any options therefore i'm going to go back to to the attributes open it up and there is options edit options let's add two here and done so once again i'm going to open it up and now you'll see that i can choose either this or that or both of them here add some options add your images fill the fields and done easy peasy and now if i open it up you'll see that this is a premium package i added here i can add vendors here I can add attributes to the vendors in a similar way as we did with the listings. Since I activated some extensions, that is messages, I can send messages. For example, by clicking here, or if I open it up, I can click on reply to listing and send a message here. All the messages are displayed under your account here, and you can see all the discussion, what has been going on. I also activated favorites previously that means i can go to the listings page at favorites or remove 
And under my account, there is a favorites menu. All my favorites are here. Since I also activated claim listing extension, it allows me to claim the listings here. But since it's a premium product for 25 euros, as you remember, I activated earlier, then it's the, it displayed here. If I click on it, then using the WooCommerce, I can pay for it and it's done. Next, since I activated packages, I have two packages here, free and featured. How to do that? Also easy. I'm going to go to the listing packages and just press and add new. What did I do? I added a free with a description. Since it's free, no WooCommerce product is added. Listing limit, you can add only one listing. Listing expiration date is 30 days. Nothing else here. And second one, I went to the WooCommerce products, created a product package. It's a virtual product for 15 euros. Created a second one, description, selected the product here, package one. You can add 30 listings and expiration date is 90. You can make your listings featured. And I can recommend this package that this, this icon here is displayed if it's recommended. If someone buys a package, he or she will be redirected to the WooCommerce checkout page. Just fill the fields, place the order, and after that you'll see orders menu up here, and you'll see all the orders here. Now, if you would like to add listings on front end, just press on Add Listing button, choose a category, fill the fields, submit listing, and since I activated manually approve new listings, it will not be displayed automatically. I have to approve it beforehand. So as you see, HiveFresh built websites can be easily monetized in a few different ways. With a paid listings or claim listings, you can also purchase a marketplace extension or bookings extension. Depending on your niche, you can do whatever you want, you even create your memberships here. The team itself is fully integrated with a WordPress block editor, Gothenburg. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to go and add a new page. Give it the title test. Whatever I choose here will be displayed as needed, but I'm going to select listing packages here. There are two columns because I have only two packages and publish. If I view the page, then it's here. Now, in order to keep it short, I'm not going to go over all the features it has, because if you go and take a look at the high press YouTube channel, you'll see that there are a bunch of playlists with the tutorials. For example, the complete listing side course, if you open it up, then there are 11 videos talking about this topic here, but there are a bunch of other good playlists here also. And there is also a help center, which allows you to find answers to your questions. You can use their support system, which has been pretty responsive for me, which is also a good thing. Now, last topic I would like to cover is the team itself. If we're going to go to the appearance and customize, then you'll see that it's a pretty standard customizer here. If you need to change the logo, just change it here. Add your copyright notice, basic color options. Primary color is the one you see here. And secondary color is the one you see here. As you see, the bluish one. Header image is the one you see here. or the one that is displayed for other pages here. As you see, really simple, only a few options for you to cover. You can add your own additional CSS here, and if everything is done, then just publish it. Which means that Listing Hive and HivePress allow you to create any type of directory websites, whether it's classifieds or card directory, travel directory, or marketplace. There are no predefined categories for you. Just add your own custom fields and filters, as I showed you before. And which is especially awesome is that you can create custom category-specific fields and search filters. Awesome, isn't it? So yeah, if you were looking for a simple way to create a classified sites or some kind of directory website, then Listing Guy is something that you may want to consider. Now, before you go, wait. 
If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.